Good day everyone and welcome back to SCP Illustrated, entry log 89. Today we're going to be taking a look at SCP-973, also known as Smokey. Now this is a Euclid level SCP and this video does contain scenes of strong gore and graphic violence. Without further ado, let's begin. The following data release has been authorised by the following council members and administration staff. Testimony taken from Gas Station Attendant The following testimony was captured by chance as the gas station attendant was refuelling the investigating agent's vehicle. The attendant was administered amnestics after the SCP-973 threat was isolated. So you're authority figures. Don't see a lot of you come out this far. Say for the gown. Can't say much about him though. No one ever sees him until you hit the gas, and by God, you should never do that. Me and a couple of the boys went out that way. Stayed 20 miles under the speed limit the whole time. The things we saw. Smashed up cars, and smashed up people. Don't know what kind of cop that guy is, but... You drive that way. You drive slowly. Description SCP-973 consists of two entities. SCP-973-1 is a police cruiser resembling those used by state troopers in the early 1970s. The vehicle appears to be in an advanced state of disrepair. Eyewitness accounts have consistently mentioned large dents in the doors and hood, a heavily cracked windshield, heavy rusting, and a loose rear bumper secured with duct tape. SCP-973-2 is reported as a Caucasian male in his late 40s, wearing a state trooper uniform dating from the same period as SCP-973-1. Subject is described as balding, slightly overweight, and having a handlebar moustache. SCP-973 will manifest at night when another vehicle enters the designated territory and is believed to be triggered by the target vehicle accelerating over a certain speed. This limit varies with the average being in the area of 88.5 km an hour, but it can range anywhere between 53.3 km an hour and 112.7 km an hour. No predictable pattern or connection between differing limits has been found as of yet. When this limit is broken, SCP-973 will appear approximately 0.4 km behind the target vehicle and will chase down the target at high speed with the siren and flashes on. This is accompanied by a looping message played on the target's radio, consisting of the phrase, Run. In percent of cases, the target will flee with SCP-973 in pursuit, and will be overtaken in 1.6 minutes. At this point, the remains of 34 individuals and 19 vehicles have been found within 6.4 kilometers of the affected roadway. The range of damage done to the bodies include evisceration, rape, and three cases where the body has been damaged by the impact to the point that visual identification was impossible. Five survivors are within Foundation custody, all suffering from varying degrees of mental trauma. The recovered vehicles showcase heavy impact damage, both environmental and inflicted, and severe burn damage to the interior. Special Containment Procedures SCP-973's nature precludes it from full containment within the Foundation. Due to the danger it presents, the 60km stretch of US route on which it is known to manifest is to be under satellite surveillance at all times. Any vehicles attempting to travel the designated section of highway between 2200 and 0430 are to be diverted to the detours at exit by Foundation personnel. Trespassers are to be forcibly arrested and detained if the need arises. Addendum 1. Destroying the roadway affected by SCP-973 has proven ineffective. The demolition of part of State Route in 1983 led to SCP-973 relocating itself to its current position. Addendum 2. 8th of 2000. Attempting to capture and contain SCP-973 failed resulting in the death of nine agents. SCP-973 is believed to be wounded, but is not incapacitated, reappearing nine days later. First-hand accounts indicate a change in SCP-973-2's appearance, 
as shown in this excerpt from the post-mission interview of Agent... I, I can't really say. He just looked different. His eyes were red, I remember that, and his, his mouth was just this black hole. No teeth, no tongue, just a hole. I was too busy shooting at him to get a better look than that. Addendum 3 SCP-973's area of effect seems to be expanding, as does the window of time that manifestations occur. Security protocols have been adapted to this. And that concludes SCP-973. I hope you enjoyed it, and be sure to like and subscribe if you did. Next time will be The Factory, another SCP-001 proposal. Exciting stuff. Be sure to follow all the social media outlets for video updates, and if you can't wait that long and want a whole load of other exclusive video content, then consider joining the Patreon. You get early video access, you see all the sketches early, get your own sketches, exclusive videos, your name in every video, and so much more. And thank you to Dr. Crystal Spice, Dragon, Dante, Dr. Beans, Andrew Emra, Jet E Boy, Rex, General's Alert, Curva Gaming, Christopher, JT Walker, Cherry Berry, SCP 106A, Rick Trexon, Mori Pasta Pizza, D Wolf, Sambi, and Sugar Free Shane. Big thanks to Vinusta, Brady Sign, Dr. X, Kibara, Mr. Fishy, and Montgomery. And huge thanks to Tyrone, Chris, Pastel Burn, and Zanan. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Take care.